Throughout my childhood, I interfaced with class on gender inequality, which played a major role in my life. As a child, I did not quite understand the concept of class or gender inequality, yet I was able to identify it as time went by. At a young age, my father vanished out of the family picture. Therefore, my mother had to play both a mother and a father role. My mother worked constantly to provide for my brother and I a place to live, food on the table, and clothes to wear on our backs. I did not quite understand why other kids had things provided for them, while I had to work for mine. I noticed that I had to grow up at a faster rate than they did. While they were allowed to enjoy their childhood, I had to grow out of mine. When I reached high school, my standpoint transformed and I was able to understand why I was different from the rest. I was classified to be in the working class, while most of my peers were categorized in the mid or high class. I was never ashamed to be classified in the working class because I was proud of my mother and for her hard work. She always managed to provide us with the basic necessities and gave us the illusion that there was nothing that distinguished us from the rest. Yet I was able to see what differentiated me from the rest. I was less fortunate and didn't receive the same opportunities. Since my mother had a working class mentality, attending college was never an option because she thought the only way one can make it in this world was through physical labor. In that point on, I realized that dreams cost money. And the main obstacle standing in my way was my inability to pay for college because of my financial status. As a child, I was exposed to gender inequality in my own household. As a child, I would see how my mother projected a gender role upon my brother and I. My brother was always alluded to Boys will be boys, yet I would be looked down upon and would always be referred back to act like a lady whenever I did similar things as my brother. As I got older, the gender roles grew greater apart. As a girl, I was expected to clean the house, help cook, set the table, wash clothes. Well, my brother was only expected to do his bed. In other words, Machismo was expected for men, while women had to play the submissive role. My mother's mentality was that women should be staying at home and be prioritizing men while they went to work. Yet in my case, my mother was the one who provided for the family. Therefore, I was hoping that she of all people would understand that women can be independent and not have to rely on men. Although I was wrong, I never received enough support from my mother. She did serve as my motivation into not letting anyone tell me I can't because of my gender. Class and gender inequality played a major role in my life, but also served as a framework of my personal characteristics. Not having the resources that other kids were provided with only gave me a greater ambition to chase after them. By not handling things, certain things in my hand, it just made me work harder for it. Additionally, I realized that at a young age, I was fighting against class and gender inequality. Yet, I did not let it serve as an obstacle, but instead, I capitalized on it and used it as a motivation to keep fighting. Yeah, I know, cheesy, right?